The Eight House was designed by the Denmark architecture firm BIG, which stands for Bjarke Ingels Group. This project was designed to be a mixed-use building that had retail, office space, a kindergarten, and residential housing. It is located near Copenhagen, Denmark, beside the farmlands in the neighborhood of Orstad. The project was completed in late 2010. Bjarke created a building that placed each function of the building in its prime location, considering the direction of the sun and deciding how the form of the building would look and where the different spaces would be located, depending on their needs for natural light at certain times of day. He also worked to optimize green space by offsetting each layer to provide gardens for the residential housing. The middle of the structure is tied together to create easy passage from the east and west side of the building, which allow easy access to the Hein Heinzen Square and a major common. Essentially, Bjarke has created an optimal neighborhood within a building. Everything is walkable or bikeable, and the building has mixed-use sections, which all have prime location, retail being where the high foot traffic is, and residential up high with good views and fresh air. The sustainable features include the roof being sloped to reduce the urban heat island effect, which is defined as being an urban area that is significantly warmer than its surrounding rural areas due to human activities. It also has green roofs at the lower portion of the building that were originally intended to encompass the whole roof, but were cut back due to budgetary issues. The building itself is only a 12-minute train ride to Copenhagen, with the train station only being a short walk away for the residents. This allows those that live close to the building to live near their work downtown, and also allows them to contribute to the culture downtown. There is a certain density to the building because of its mixed-use aspect, which is important when creating sustainable development. It also has features Easy wayfinding for the residents with large slope pathways that extend the whole height of the building. The divided center creates green space on both sides which facilitates social interaction and a sense of community within the building. In this intersection, there are several public amenities available to all residents of the building that is easy to access no matter where you live inside the building. The structure also connects with nature through the sloped roof that is used to invoke images that residents have from growing up in the mountains. The use of grass on part of the roof is not only sustainable, but also has responsiveness to place, mirroring the grass in the surrounding farmlands. The site also features clear accessibility. Not only within the building, slope sidewalks are functional for walkers, individuals in wheelchairs, and even bikers, but also with its proximity to Copenhagen. Although being close to the city would limit urban sprawl and continued development near the farmlands, it is still functioning without relying on too many cars and is able to provide affordable housing. With this in mind, there is a fair city form making sure all ages and economic groups can afford housing within the 8 house. The residential housing offers places for singles and one-bedroom apartments, apartments for small growing families, and penthouses for the wealthier residents. This encourages socially mixed neighborhoods and age groups. The building also works to encourage a sense of neighbors by making the walkways move from the bottom of the building to the top. Bjarke wanted children to easily walk from their apartment and meet children nearby. This not only creates a stronger sense of community, but also gives children a safe place to roam around and exercise. As I mentioned before, sustainable development acknowledges an urban growth boundary, which is divine in Randolph's design with nature for people as effective means for enclosing development, promoting infill, and protecting greenfields and agricultural lands. It is obvious that the 8 building ignores this by building in agricultural fields. Moving away from the major city center is only going to encourage further development in the small town of Orestad that could have easily been avoided if it were in the outskirts of Copenhagen. You can see this in Bjarke's plan for the future of the site, that there is further development around the 8 house. Bjarke works with his firm that includes 80 workers from 20 countries. In this sense, they have all come from a varied cultural background that has a different way of approaching architecture and the built environment. They all work together with clients, development firms, and building users to create the best spaces possible. To do so, they need to make sure the language of the communication is the same, so they can solve problems together. BRK hearing out what the clients are most looking for in a building and translate that into design, while also working with the developer's budget is key. I think BRK moves past what developers are looking for and tries to offer them a better alternative. He isn't just trying to make things affordable, he's tr trying to make them enjoyable and worth living in. Bjarke has acknowledged that sustainability is a problem needing to be solved. He said himself that sustainability doesn't have to hurt in order to be good. I feel he looks at projects as being good if they are sustainable. Some recommendations I would make for the 8 house include, as mentioned before, being close to the city center to prevent disruption of the farmland. Because it is so close to the farms, it would work on having the building practice autonomy by using the farmlands as a source of the building's food to justify its location.
I think it would also be beneficial to include historical and cultural features into the building. I don't see it as a connecting to the overall theme of Denmark's built environment and has less ties to the backgrounds of the residents that occupy it.